All right, here's the Temco tool review that I was mentioning uh, earlier in the week. I wanted to uh, show you this particular tool right here. This is the Temco model TH007. You can get this on the Amazon site. It's uh, $17.50 and comes with a five-year warranty. And it's made out of steel plates. It's not cast iron like a lot of them are. And it has a nice little spring to hold your lug that you're going to be crimping. In a little while, I'm going to hook this up and screw it to a, uh, a big log down here so it doesn't bounce around. The second tool tonight is going to be the Temco TH0012. And this one is also on the Amazon site or eBay, the eBay site. Both of them have a five-year warranty. And they're $55 on the Amazon site. And this is the manual crimper. It's a dialless crimper. It has an adjustable setting on the head. And you can follow this little line, and I believe it goes from uh, a number 8 gauge to a 4 O or 4 double O, or anywhere in between, just by adjusting this piece here in the head. And it works very good. So in a minute, I'm going to sit back down over here. I'm going to get my cameraman to film me uh, making some crimps with this tool. And then we're going to move over to the uh, 007. Or what I like to call the James Bond crimper. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. All right, I'm demonstrating the TH0012 uh, mechanical crimper. And I decided to uh, go big right off the bat. So I'm going to load it up with a 4 uh lug. That's a 4 rot copper lug. And I have some 4 rot tinned copper lugs also, which are like a marine grade. They're covered with a tin coating so they don't corrode. You just take your uh, lug, place it inside. I'm going to push this down just a tad to hold it for me. And I've taken the wire back a little bit, uh, the coating on the wire, a little bit more than I normally would to show you the crimp. And we're going to try to get it enough lined up here. Okay, it's in. Now I'm going to do the crimp. And believe it or not, it's... Uh, it doesn't take a whole lot of effort. I was pleasantly surprised how well it really works. And this is the crimp. And that's the finished product. As you can see here, it's nice and crimped. And when you get a good crimp, it becomes very, very stiff. That's how you know you got it locked up pretty good. I did one here previously on a 2 watt cable, and I gave it a double crimp, which I don't know if that's necessary, but it seemed to me, like for me, that's probably how I would do it. And it's a triangular shape and matches this adjustable die. So I think it's a pretty good deal. And this, again, as you can see, it's like a triangular. Very nice crimp, and it was a fairly effort, effortless. So now I'm going to take over to the other side on the red cable and I'm going to do a tin lug which would be like for a marine application or in your home either way. Load it in here again. And this is again, this is 4 out wire. This is going to be for my uh, inverter. Extremely heavy wire. couple little heron strands that didn't want to go in and again you just push it down let it up and again there's your crimp and I cut the insulation back a little bit more so you can see the wire and I get it tight it's pretty tight works very well okay I'm gonna be back in a minute and I'm gonna take it down to uh, I have some cables here pre-made 4 watt, 2 watt, and so on, and I'll be back. Okay, here we go. This is the uh, Temco TH007. I'm using some 2 watt lugs today. This is a copper one. And this spring loaded feature is nice. You lift it up, put the lug in, and it actually holds it for you. And then again, I got the copper stripped. 
insert it into the crimper and then give it a good whack with like a three to five pound hammer give it a really good whack there it goes And that's the finished product. Triangulated at the bottom. It's got a nice stamp on the top and it became very stiff. And that's just a die mark. It doesn't mean positive or negative, in case you're wondering. That's what that means. So I'll do another one on the other side. Actually, what I'll do is a smaller one now. That's a 4 rot that I used previously. That's a 4-0 tinned copper, and again I stripped the copper back a good bit for clarity so you can see the crimp. Stick that in there. These smaller ones you can load them after the fact. And give it a smack. There it is. Again, triangulated, and when it gets good and stiff like that, you've got a good crimp. That's how that works. And uh, we've got some 2 watt cable, and we're going to get a piece of 4 watt cable over here with a 4 watt lug in a moment. I need the 4 watt lug also. Oh, I got one right here. I got one. Got one right in my hand. This is now 4O, 4OO. This is for the inverter. And again, lift this up, align it. That spring thing is kind of handy, as I mentioned. Holds it in. Feed the wire into it as you can. It's a lot of wire. Okay, it's in. And this one's going to have to get a pretty vigorous whack. And that's the 4 rot cable. I missed a couple. But you get a nice little side crimp off these pieces of steel. And again, nice and tight. And I can do uh, another small one. And this is the 4 gauge. And I do believe this will go all the way down to number 8 as well. And again, just lift it. Stick it in, position it. Whack it. And there's your crimp. Okay, I'll be back in a minute and I'll show you a, a comparison between the two crimpers. I'll be right back. Alright, now this is the uh, conclusion of this demonstration. the um, I've got some different cables here that I made with both tools. This is the uh, TH0012 and that's the TH007 and uh, if we can zoom in here a little bit I'll show you the differences on the, uh, the crimps. This crimp here on this 4 rock cable with the, it looks like a positive sign, which is just a die mark, was done with this tool. And for comparison, this one with the four prongs on it was done with the TH12 tool. Both nice and solid. Here's a comparison of the die tool on this side with the positive mark on it, or what looks like a positive mark. And this one here with the four prongs again is from this blue tool. Both did a very nice job. And then here's a 2 watt with the 07. And this is a double crimp on a 2 watt with the 012. 
And in conclusion, you can get these on the uh, Temco Tool Amazon site, or they have an eBay store, and I believe you can get them uh, right from the company themselves out in California. And again, I want to thank uh, Mr. Alex Hernandez for sending me these tools from Temco Tools. And again, they come with a five-year warranty on both of these items. And that concludes the demonstration of the TH0012 and the TH0007. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps your decision making a little easier. Thanks for watching.